We begin tonight with the unfolding war in Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are holding strong as Russian tanks close in on the capital city of Kyiv. A live look tonight at Kyiv, which sits in complete darkness. Military officials have told residents to turn off all of their lights at night as Russia is expected to move in from every direction. This is the same skyline just a few hours ago when a bright orange glow lit up the sky near a Ukrainian Air Force base. Tonight, the country is being attacked on multiple fronts on its eastern border. Ukrainian forces were able to slow down Russian advances on three cities, but we now know a Russian explosion blew up a gas pipeline. According to the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. Nearly 200 Ukrainians have been killed so far and more than 1,100 others have been wounded. The U.S., Germany, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands and Portugal have all pledged to send military assistance to Ukraine. The glow of explosions lights up the night sky over Kyiv as Russia escalates its attack on Ukraine. Russian troops bombed a strategic airbase as new satellite images appear to show troops assembled near a Ukrainian hydroelectric power plant with armored vehicles and trucks gathered nearby. A Russian missile slammed into this residential building in Kyiv. Pieces of artillery scattered around the country, including at this playground in Kharkiv. Yesterday, Russian President Vladimir Putin urged the Ukrainian army to turn against its own government, but there is no sign of anything but unbridled loyalty from Ukrainians who have vowed to fight until the very end. Ukrainian President Zelensky remains in the capital despite threats from the Kremlin against his young family and an offer from the U.S. to evacuate, telling President Biden today, I need more ammunition, not a ride. The massive humanitarian crisis continues to unfold, with an estimated 150,000 refugees flooding into Poland, Romania, Hungary and Moldova over the past few days. This mother sobs as she is reunited with her child across the border into Hungary. Most of those trying to escape are women and children, as all men 18 to 60 years old are arming themselves with assault rifles and Molotov cocktails, preparing for a possible ground war with Russian troops. This man knelt down in front of a Russian tank in defiance, and this woman refused a chance to evacuate to Poland. It's my city, it's my hometown, it's my homeland, it's my country, and I'm not the one who should leave. The Russians are the one who should leave. The Ukrainian government says it has handed out more than 18,000 rifles to its citizens. And in a major blow to the Kremlin, the U.S. and allies agreed today to limit Russia's access to SWIFT, a global payment system that is crucial to international trade. Also today, the White House announced it will launch a task force on Monday to identify, hunt down and freeze the assets of sanctioned Russian companies and oligarchs, their yachts, their mansions and any other ill-gotten gains that we can find and freeze under the law.